Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick feature demo really quick just because this was something that was really fun and rather exciting. So I was working on a project yesterday, uh, actually just a little fun project to do a mock-up of a basement renovation that I'm doing right now at my house. And I wanted to, you know, create a quick mock-up in, in Blender just so I could get an idea of exactly what I was going to do with it so I didn't just dive in blind. And I came across a a problem within modeling that I've actually run into a lot that there really just isn't a good tool for it. And so first I wanna show you what that problem is and then I wanna show you the new new tool actually that Campbell Barton was kind enough to implement as a testing tool real quick. And it's pretty fantastic. So first of all, the problem. So one of the areas in my basement that I'm renovating is the basement stairs. And under the stairs, I'm putting in kind of a little nook. So it'll basically be a little like office space right in here. Now that's aside from the point, it doesn't really matter at the moment. But in the process of doing that, one of the things that I want is to be able to cleanly trim the stair treads like this. And so within my mock-up, what I wanted to do was I wanted to take this piece, which is representing the wall, and bring it up right against all of those treads. So the way that I would do this is quite tedious. There's really no good way to do it within a single face like this. And since this is kind of an architectural project and I'm not using any sub D or anything like that, I'm just working very heavily with ingons. So initially what I would do is I would just select this edge, I would hit W and subdivide, and then I would increase those subdivisions to say 12, you know, just get a bunch in. And then I would take these and using vertex snap, I might hide my stair treads real quick, and I would just go in and I would snap these one by one to all of these intersection points. And this works, except that for one, it's really hard to count very quickly. I mean, it's not hard to count, but in, in a quick manner, it's hard to see how many vertices you need. Obviously, I'm taking a lot of steps here. You know, there's a lot of subdividing, there's a lot of snapping, a lot of moving, and it's, it's fine, whatever. It's, it, it is what it is, but it's slow. It's very, very slow when compared to a lot of things. And so what I really wanted to do, since I have just a single end on here, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to just rip my vertices away and just say, cool, add in a vertex, add in a vertex, add in a vertex, add in a vertex. Just make it very, very quick. And so I was thinking, well, I'll just use the rip tool. So you hitting V, oh wait, I can't hit V because I have an end on and the rip tool with V does not work with two valence ed vertices. In other words, this edge or this vertex only has two edges connected to it. Now, if it had another edge, say if it had an edge going through like this, then I could do it. But I don't want those other edges because that makes it really, really messy. I just wanna be able to rip this away, snap, rip, snap, rip, snap, make it really, really quick. So I t uh, hopped on IRC and Campbell was available and he was kind enough to uh, go away from bug fixing for a little bit and experiment with this. So let me show you what he built. So this is a custom build of Blender. It's not in the master branch yet, but you can get it and I'll show you where. And basically what we have now is it's currently called the Rip Edge tool. Now, neither Campbell or I really like this name. It doesn't seem very indicative of what it does. I mean, it it is ripping an edge, but regardless, it doesn't seem very accurate. So feel free to suggest a tool name for this. Uh, whatnot, but here's how it works. Uh, using the hotkey, it's not yet in the menus, although you can find it from the spacebar just by hitting rip edge or using alt D. So with a single vertex selected, I can just hover my mouse over the edge that I want to rip in the direction. So for example, I want to rip in this direction. So I can simply hit, let me just get rid of my grid here so you can see this. So I want to rip up here and snap here. So I just hit alt D and snap, alt D, snap, very, very quick. So you notice that when I hit Alt D, it automatically puts me in grab mode. So then I can just quickly press control to toggle snapping, or if I have snapping already on, such as if I do hit shift tab, then it's just snap, 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 and I'm totally done. Really, really quick and rather awesome. So that is the rip edge tool. Uh, if you want to try it out, oh, and by the way, uh, you can also do it, I just remember the edge, where your mouse is matters. So for example, if my mouse is over here, it'll rip in that direction. If my mouse is over here, it'll rip in that direction. And the biggest thing that's really cool about this is that it works with ingon. So it can maintains the single ingon, 
I, it's perfect for kind of like architectural projects and stuff like that. So really fantastic. So if you want to try it out, simply go to blender.builder.org. Let me unfull screen this. There we go. You go to uh, developer.blender.org and it's patch D512. So rip vertex along the edge. Uh, if you happen to have Arcanus installed, then you can just put in Arc Patch D five twelve. If you're not, if this is total gibberish to you, don't worry. Uh, feel free to ping me on Twitter. If you're on a Mac, I can get you a build. Uh, if you're not on a Mac, well, then I can't. Uh, but once this is reviewed by uh, one or two other parties, probably it will probably get it into Trunk, possibly or Master, I suppose it is. And yeah, so fantastic, awesome little tool. Just wanted to really quickly show that.